If you ever want to make a full backup of the data on your device, then you're going to need to install the custom recovery TWRP. Now in order to accept an over the air update, you need to get rid of TWRP and any modifications that you have made to the device. In order to keep TWRP installed, it has to make a modification to your kernel, which is also known as the boot.img file. So if you ever want to go from a system where you have TWRP installed as your custom recovery, and you want to later accept an over the air update directly from OnePlus, then you're going to need to switch back to the stock kernel boot image. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before we begin, you're going to need to have some things set up on your computer. A lot of this stuff should already be done since you installed TWRP. So if you have any questions about how to do this, be sure to check the full tutorial. That is linked in the description below this video. Once you have TWRP installed, you can go ahead and connect your phone to the PC with a USB cable. And you're going to need to have USB debugging set up. And again, all of this is linked in the full tutorial. And you're going to need to download the version of Oxygen OS, the full ROM for the current version that you're on so that we can extract that boot.img file. And we're just going to go ahead and boot the OnePlus 5 into bootloader mode, which is also known as fast boot mode. You can also do this with TWRP installed, but since this is the, the universal method, it's because not everyone will have TWRP installed, we're just going to do it directly from fast boot mode. So as I mentioned, we're going to need to download the current version of Oxygen OS you have installed. And this is directly from the OnePlus website that again, I will have linked in the full tutorial. Once you have downloaded this full ROM, you're going to need to extract it. And then you go into the folder where it is extracted and as you can see there will be a boot.img file right here. So now you're going to need to copy or move this boot.img file to a location where you have Fastboot and ADB tools installed. And then from that directory, we're going to need to load up either Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. And we want to type out this whole command fastboot space flash space boot space boot.img. Once you have all that typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. It's going to tell you it's sending that boot image first, and then it's going to tell you that it's writing that boot image. As long as you get two OK messages here, the process is complete. Once that boot image has been sent and written to our OnePlus 5, We'll turn our attention back to the phone. You should have the start option up here automatically highlighted. And we're just going to press the power button to select that option. This is going to take us through the typical boot animation sequence. And it's going to boot us right into the Oxygen OS software. So again, this is great for any time you want to revert back to stock kernel, for instance, from using a modified version of TWRP. Or even if you have just installed a custom kernel and you want to switch back to the stock kernel, 
you can do that by following these directions.